God's story. Peter fishes for men. So part of God's story is about a guy named Peter, and it goes like this. Actually, hold it right there. Peter's real name was Simon. He lived in a place called Capernaum where he had a wife and worked as a fisherman. Simon was just a normal guy, but his life was about to change forever. See, Simon was fishing one day, like usual, when Jesus got into Simon's boat. He taught some people who were standing around. Then he said to Simon, go out into deep water. Let down your net so you can catch some fish. Simon had been fishing all night without catching anything. The last thing he wanted to do was go back out into deep water. But since Jesus told him to do it, Simon obeyed, even though it didn't make any sense. And guess what? He and all the other fishermen caught so many fish that their boats began to sink. When Simon finally got back to the shore, he fell to his feet in front of Jesus. He realized Jesus was not just a great teacher. He was God's son and the rescuer God had promised. Jesus said, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. Jesus wanted Simon to know that now that he knew who Jesus was, he could tell other people who Jesus was too. In fact, Jesus gave Simon a new name, Peter. It means rock, because Jesus would use Peter to build his church. Sometimes we think of a church as a building, but really, it's people who follow Jesus. And just like we might use rocks to build a church building, Peter was one of the very first people to follow Jesus and show others how to follow him too. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Simon was a normal guy. He lived in Capernaum. He was a fisherman. He met Jesus. Jesus told him to go to deep water. Simon obeyed. He caught fish! He realized Jesus was God's son. Jesus said Peter could tell others about Jesus. He called Simon Peter. And that's a part of God's story.